Hi everyone, I'm Gregory. This here is Gatsby. Today we have two guests with us. We have my daughter Kira, and we have a family uh, pet Harley down here. Uh, today I just kind of want to talk to everyone about uh, collars. Just kind of go through different uh, collars that we have, kind of uh, the basics and leading up. Uh, I've recently upgraded Gatsby's collar. That's kind of what prompted this video. Um, guys, just to start, most of you people are probably familiar with just the uh, standard basic collar. It's uh, pretty flat. It's got a single D-ring for your dog tags, for the dog's leash. You can get them where they buckle like this. These are the ones I like. Uh, you can also get the ones that are like a belt. They go through a loop, have a little pin, and clip them up there. Uh, this is the collar that Gatsby originally came with, but he also had no training, um, nothing formal. So from there, when I picked him up, I wanted to get into some training. I want to go through a collar that I'm familiar with, and that collar would be the Martingale collar. With this collar here, uh, as you see, it's got a little bit of a chain on it. You can also find these uh, Martingale collars with a fabric. The context of these, or uh, the whole reason for these is when they're uh, clipped together, uh, they're gonna go around the dog's neck. And like any collar, you wanna make sure you have two finger spaces around their neck. And with this, as a correction, you're gonna pull tight and it's gonna put tension on the neck. Uh, it's not like a choker, it just kind of adds that tension and that quick snap uh, adjustment so that you can kind of get their attention and uh, just kind of correct the behavior that they're performing that you don't want them to have. Uh, I've always preferred the metal over the nylon. The metal makes the, a sound. It's a consistent sound. Every time you hear it, it's gonna, they're going to recognize, oh, that's bad. That's bad. I shouldn't do that. That's not okay. Um, that's the Martingale collar. Um, I've always had good luck with these, but unfortunately with everything you guys have known about Gatsby, with him barking out of the dogs, with him not listening and lunging, um, I've gone through the progression of collars and sp uh, spoken to a dog trainer. He suggested looking into something called the Starmark Collar. Uh, the Starmark Collar, it's a pretty neat concept. It is the in-between, in-between the Martingale and like a prong collar. Uh, it comes with these little plastic clips here. So you got points and kind of like a watch band, they just continuously, they snap together. It takes a bit of force, a little twisting, then you just continue to link them up, right? So these are the extra ones that uh, I didn't need for the collar. I bought him a large one because he is over 30 pounds uh, and that's what Gatsby is currently wearing. Um, with this collar, it's similar to the Martingale. It also has, um, not metal, but it'll have a, it has a fabric piece to it. And when I want to make my corrections, I pull, then Gatsby gets kind of a, a just like a little tighter, a little more um, obvious correction. All right? I don't know if he's trying to show it off or not. Come here. So he's got her on his neck now. Let's see if we can take it off. Whoa. So it comes pretty neat. So like I said, here's the fabric piece that I'm talking about. It'll clip on, it's got a little loop on one end. It clips, and like I said, it's got that same thing. When he wants to pull or lunge, it's gonna force it closed, which is gonna prompt these little spikes into his side. Uh, not spikes, I just, uh, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, the not spikes, it's kind of like a dull little poke. Um, if you guys think about when your kids, your mom goes through the progression, she looks at you, and if that look isn't enough to get you to correct what you're doing wrong, she gives you a little pinch. Essentially, this is like your mom's little pinch. Letting Gatsby know that, hey, what you're doing isn't okay. Um, the pretty neat thing with this uh, collar is it comes with kind of like a safety loop here. And if I can get Gatsby to get back up, uh, the safety loop here is uh, a pretty standard... Uh, pretty standard uh, little thing. It slips over his neck and if for whatever reason this uh, Sarmar collar was to fail, if the pieces were to break, then this is still attached and that'll grab him. Uh, it's like a little slip knot that um, you use, uh, so you would see the dog rescue. So, uh, like your dog pound or uh, anybody who's trying to secure uh, a wild animal, they use them at the zoo. It's just kind of like a little uh, slip knot around the neck to kind of catch them. Um, the next uh, collar uh, is one that's 
I personally am uh, not one to use, but my uh, family member who uh, owns Harley, that's the collar that Dave chose to use, and that's kind of why we got Harley here today. And that is oh, the full metal choker. This one here, uh, it's um, a little more than, oh, come here. put that back on. It's a little more than what uh, the Martingale is. It's got the full chain metal around it. And when Harley wants to pull, it's just gonna keep adding tension to her neck till she realizes, hey, I don't like that. So then she loosens up the leash and that allows for the chain to go back, go back loose and she can continue on walking normally. Um, Harley's 95 pounds. This year, like I said, uh, it's not something that I would personally choose to use, especially not with Gatsby. But if I had to get to that stage, if I had to get to that progression, I would definitely use it. Hopefully, this is kind of uh, the last stage with Gatsby. Uh, he's doing a lot better between uh, the water that I showed you guys last week as well as um, just adding this collar. We've had it for a couple days and uh, as you've seen, I have three extra little links to it that I've removed periodically as I've gone through. Uh, the first day we started off with just uh, one link out. He didn't seem to have any kind of reaction, didn't seem to phase him. I pulled a second link out uh, for our second walk and when we were doing some training inside the house, he was kind of hit or miss with it, but it still, it was a lot looser than I expected. Or sorry, a lot more loose. So then uh, I pulled out the third one and it seems to work now. Uh, he does seem a little irritated by it. He scratches at it a lot. So I tend to only use it when we're training. Um, and yeah, it's uh, kind of the progression of our collars, everyone. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, what else to add. Um, Tira. Notice a big difference in Gatsby. Yes. What's the biggest difference in Gatsby? Mm, he's, listening more. he's listening more. Cool. So I guess what I'm doing uh, is working. She's uh, she's confirmed that. All right, guys. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next video with uh, the next update. Until then, uh, any questions? Shoot them in the comments. If there's something you want to see, shoot them in the comments. Take care.